Good Thursday, everyone, and happy 4th of July. I hope you get to enjoy the holiday and and all that it has to offer. Looking at our weather map for today, we see two areas of concern, one stretching from Oklahoma to southern Indiana and another up across Iowa, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. Those folks will be on the lookout for strong and severe thunderstorms and flash flooding today. And while any storm that forms in our neck of the woods could pack a punch, the greater concentration of threats um, are in those two areas highlighted there on your weather map. Down in the very bottom of your screen, you'll see Hurricane Barrel still churning through the Caribbean as a Cat 3 hurricane. We'll be making landfall in Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. That's that peninsula you see jutting out there in the Gulf of Mexico. That will take a big toll on Barrel and will drop him down to tropical storm strength by the time he emerges into the southwest Gulf of Mexico. He will slow down, have time to re-strengthen, probably reaching cat one maybe cat two hurricane status before making landfall for the final time somewhere near the u.s mexico border down around brownsville texas but should bring some heavy rainfall to a big portion of texas by the time all is said and done <clears throat> continues to look like barrel will not have an impact on our weather but i'll keep an eye on that our five-day forecast brought just by Clearview Closet and Blind. 50-50 shot of showers and thunderstorms for our afternoon and evening on our 4th of July holiday. If you have outdoor plans, don't cancel them. Just have a, a, a shelter that you can get to if you need to, just in case one of these storms pops up where you are, because they can contain a lot of cloud-to-ground lightning and some very gusty winds, and like I said, even some torrential downpours of rain. Highs near 90, and it's going to be hot and humid. Be safe out in that heat. Friday, scattered showers and thunderstorms look likely. We've got a system coming through that should kick off numerous showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-80s. Hopefully, we can all get a little bit of rain on Friday, especially for the areas that have been missed by the stuff that we've had. Saturday and Sunday look partly cloudy. Highs in the mid-80s on Saturday, a pretty pleasant-looking day. Overnight lows dropping down in the upper 50s. That'll be nice, and that's an indication that it'll be a little less humid. Sunday, we start getting more humid, though, upper 80s, and then Monday, that heat and humidity leads to a 50-50 shot once again for a shower or thunderstorm. Premier Generators brings us our threat graphic. Any storm that forms today or tomorrow, folks, um, can contain a damaging straight line wind gust, could have a large hailstone, um, and, of course, flooding because you may get an inch of rain in 10 minutes. So if you have outdoor plans, like I said, just have access to shelter and be ready to move indoors if you need to. Otherwise, carry on and stay safe in the heat. <laughs> On this date, 1892, Western Samoa changes the international date line, so that year there were 367 days in this country with two occurrences on Monday, July the 4th. So you got to celebrate the July 4th holiday twice. If that. <laughs> 1776, Thomas Jefferson paid for his first thermometer and signed the Declaration of Independence according to his weather memorandum book. I find this is so fascinating. At 2 p.m., it was cloudy and 76 degrees. How cool is that? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> we're we're going to wish we had that forecast at 2 p.m. this afternoon. Happy 4th of July, folks. I'll be at the Pro Troop Rally in downtown Crossville from 9 a.m. to probably about noonish or so. I'll be doing, doing a, brief, a, a brief talk about what we do for veterans at Creative Compassion. But come on down if you can. We're on Main Street across from the old courthouse there at the um, memorial where you see those memorials there on the side of Main Street. So um, come on down if you can. There'll be music and there'll be some food and drink and whatnot. So and pay tribute to the troops. Again, have a wonderful 4th of July holiday. For more weather information, meteorologistmart.com.